us into the actual sizing of, of, of a HANA database. And, you know, the first thing I want to say is sizing a HANA database on physical versus virtual is exactly the same. You're, you're going to be sizing for RAM uh, on, your initial, uh, on your initial sizing uh, go round, and essentially you're looking for how much data you can fit in there. There's a small row store, and then you have to allow room for runtime objects. So if the total RAM is, is, is less than or equal to one terabyte, then you're good to go. You can go ahead and virtualize HANA. That's our physical limitation for this, this version of vSphere. Now, if it's greater than one terabyte, you still have options. You don't have to say, I can't virtualize that, that HANA database. What you can do is use their, the recommended sizer, which is their ABAP-based uh, sizer. And what this does is essentially brings into the notion hot, cold, and warm data. So go into your database and identify what's hot, what's warm, and what's cold. And essentially what's hot needs to reside in memory. What's, what's warm will reside in memory as well, but doesn't require runtime objects. So essentially no doubling of, of, of that number. And then and lastly, what's cold can reside on disk. So in this manner, in this sizing manner, you can certainly virtualize HANA databases that are greater than one terabyte. 